Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We're trying to end each segment with one of uh, Gene Smith's famous puns uh, to, to lift up our spirits on this July the 4th, Saturday morning. And I can't think of anybody better to lift our spirits than the spirit man himself, the gray-beard adventurer who just... Uh, uh, continues to go rolling on uh, thanks to the good Lord taking care of his body and the amazing things that uh, uh, that Dale has done just since I've known him in the last four, five, six, seven, eight years that, it, that he's been able to do. And uh, he's not through yet. And so we're always glad to have on Outdoors of Larry Ray uh, the gray beard adventurer, Dale Sanders. Good morning, Dale. Well, good morning. I tell you right now, I am looking forward to this. Well, you always add a little spark to our show and everything. I know you're such a mild-mannered guy and doesn't do anything, sits around and watch TV all day and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, I'd like to be out on the river or in the hiking right now, as a matter of fact. Well, I know that. you got things coming up. Talk about uh, what's going on with Dale Sanders' life. Now, I know uh, you had, when we talked to you, before all this stuff was going on, you had a lot of plans and everything. So what's uh, what's happening? What's what's on your well, agenda now? Yeah, uh, well, as you know, we had to cancel. I had to cancel my plans to go to Canada and finish up the International Appalachian Trail, which would have given me the Eastern Continental Trail in total yes. for another world record. But the border's still closed in Canada. I can't get And also there's quarantine issues in Maine. So just postponed it a year. So, But I do have something coming up. And uh, the first week in October, I will be challenging the age record to a rim to rim to rim in the Grand Canyon. And that, that's already approved, already funded. So, you know, God willing, and the creeks don't rise, uh, they have to rise pretty high to get up in the Grand Canyon, wouldn't it? Yeah. But, I don't want, and, I don't... <laughs> but anyway, if, if everything goes right as planned, I'll be trying to get that world record that first week in October. Now, in the meantime, I'm staying busy. Uh, you are building your oh, barn. Man. You're building your barn, yeah. is that? Aren't you? Aren't you building? Well, I'm building a barn, but I'm also entertaining these Mississippi River paddlers coming through here. Uh, even though you know we uh, have these these virus issues, uh, paddling on the river, you're really alone. That's that's really tricky. <laughs> I've paddled many times from Ky- Cairo, Illinois, or Cairo. They Cairo, that, Cairo, right? Illinois. I know that. One. Yeah, I, from Cairo to Memphis, and not see one single human being so you know I'm, yeah. I'm thinking that these paddlers coming in we're bringing them out in the home and entertaining them and let them take a shower giving them food and just let them sleep overnight here a couple of nights i just put one on the river a couple of days ago a little young lady from japan yes and another lady is, is rowing yes paddling, she's rowing. rowing in here about sunset tonight yes that's ellen falterman uh that, that's coming in and uh you know when i look at this dale uh uh, you've got your paddler's, what, wall of fame or something? Don't you? Uh... Yeah, that's my paddler's wall of fame. Uh, there is a hall of fame in, up in Michigan, but uh, but I got a wall of fame here. You know, there's some talk about cutting this wall out and taking it to the uh, hall of fame. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come into your house and take your wall out. Okay. <laughs> there's so, about three or 400 signatures on the wall. I know. It, that's, it, that wall is getting crowded, wow. isn't it? It looks like a restaurant sometime with... Uh, <laughs> all all the celebrities that come through there well, and everything. So as as many paddlers as that we have entertained, it is a, it is a restaurant. The only thing is that we didn't charge anything. <laughs> no, no, that's that's right. And again, we put the bill. We've never charged a penny for the paddlers to stay here. Now, so you Dale, you turned eighty five in June. Is that right? Uh, last week turned eighty five. Right? Yes, last week eighty five years old. Uh, golly, I, I can remember. Uh, You've had so many journeys and so many different things since you left Lickety Split, uh, whatever it is, uh, Kentucky, or what was that? Split Lick? Lick Skillet. What was that again? Lick Lick Skillet. skillet. Lick Skillet. You and uh, what's that other famous person that's uh, Jesse James or somebody? Yeah, I'm I'm kin to Jesse James and Frank James' mother and dad. All from from Split Lick, uh, Kentucky. Uh, Dave? (laughs) Yeah, but they they left. I think they 
they they left Kentucky. I'm not sure if they were married or not, but they went up in Missouri where they know the kids were born. So Jesse never. Uh, well, I tell too he bad. He was there. He was there. He stayed with a great uh, great aunt of mine <laughs> when he robbed the bank there in the county seat. And Lick in Lick Skillet, Kentucky. Uh, right across uh, the road from store, matter of fact, in Lick Skillet. Oh my goodness, uh, uh, Jesse so James. Any third, of his it was a third cousin. See, a third. Okay. That's where he stayed in third cousin. All right. So, it, it, third, is any cousin. of the James family among your four thousand Facebook friends? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Not, <laughs> I haven't you, seen any. <laughs> you're not trying to check it out again. We're talking to Dale Sanders now. Now, Dale, you were saying now. So this this October trip uh, to the Grand Canyon and explain what that will entail when you get to do that in October. Okay, I will uh, have to do a rim to rim to rim. What that means is, is I will start hiking at the south rim, the bright the the, the trailhead for Bright Angel Trail. Okay, near the lodge, right uh, at the hotel lodge. All right, all right. And I'll hike down all the way down that day, and spend the night at uh, Phantom Ranch, and then the next day I hike up the North Kebab Trail, <laughs> all the way to the north rim take two days to get up there and then uh hike back down to cottonwood where i spent it that night and uh, spend the night and then back down to the phantom ranch and the next day hike out to be uh the bright angel trail again but spending the night at uh indian gardens on the way up oh my goodness okay if i can, if I can make it out uh where i started back to where i started at the lodge there at the summit i mean at the uh at the trailhead, yeah, uh, I will have a new world record for the oldest age, person. Uh, age record. Uh, for yeah, the oldest old person, person. To, to do this, and it'll encompass how many days? Six days. Six days. Five nights. Six days and five nights. And, and, and it doesn't matter when you're going for age records. <laughs> it doesn't as long matter. As you stay and stay on the trail and keep going. You can't quit and go home and come back. No, no. But as no. long as you can do it in one trip. Uh, Time doesn't matter. It's the age there. And you subject. you won't be alone. You you got a you got some people going with you, right? I mean, uh, yeah, six people. Six people going with you. Open for seven, but uh, we're having a hard time getting permits. Oh, you are. I was wondering about. There the, you go, Larry. There you. No, I'm not ready for that. No, Dale, <laughs> Dale knows not. No, I don't want to. I know this may be a, a three month trip if Dale took me along. So uh, <laughs> we don't want to, we don't want to do that. So. Dale, I know you were disappointed in uh, not being able to do the Appalachian Trail uh, thing, that, uh, but you've done so many different things. Uh, you're pretty fortunate. Uh, you know you take care of yourself, and uh, but I think you get a lot of joy out of people, Dale, and just uh, I could hear you talking about these paddlers up and down the river uh, and the rowers and the girl from Japan, and uh, I don't think Memphians really realize who's coming by this city uh, on the river. No, many people don't don't realize that paddling the Mississippi River is a real uh, popular destination. It is for those people seeking month long adventures. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I know you month long. Right. When did you do this? Uh, the 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 source to the to the sea. When did you do that? I did that in twenty uh, twenty fifteen. Uh, All right, twenty fifteen. I, I still hold that world record. You still got it. Never yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Has anybody tried to shortchange you on that? So uh, no, and so far nobody tried to break. But I think uh, three or four people challenged me on the Appalachian Trail record. They have. None of them have been able to uh, to make it yet. And so you have done from what the keys to the top to. I like from the keys. Keys of via the uh, via the uh, Heritage Trail, yes, Florida Trail, Florida yeah. National Scenic Trail, yeah, Alabama Road Work, the Ben uh, uh, Benton Mackay Trail, <laughs> Penhody Trail, Appalachian Trail, yeah. all the way to Maine. You know, it does. Uh, Dave and Gene, do you do y'all not just get tired of hearing Dale do this? Oh, no, I mean, he he should be known as Superman. Don't so you get worn out adventure. though, Dave, oh, when you no. hear you know? I mean. Uh, 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 you know, I, I turned 77. You know, I've always said that will be the, I told my granddaughter, I, I won't be eating the same number for another 11 years. And so when I turn, <laughs> when I turn 88, I, I can always know that, that Dale will be a, a, a 101 or something. And he's still out there. 
Uh, well, and, you just stay positive. All you guys stay positive. Isn't that, that the most important thing? Is stay positive and happy. Isn't that what it is, Dale? And, Dale, yeah, I mean, stay positive, happy, have a good, good Christian life, and uh, yes. stay active. I think we both got uh, those with our both of our wives being named Miriam. I, I think. I want to know when you go to the Grand Canyon, <laughs> how many pair of boots you'll take with you. Yeah. Did you hear that, Dale? No. He asked you how many pair of boots you're going to take to the Grand Canyon. No, I want to take one pair in. I'll be able to get if it's, it's about fifty miles. There'll be no problem getting pair with one pair of boots. So what do you worry? Oh, it's about? only fifty miles. Only fifty miles. What do you worry about? What's the hardest part of this going to be in October? Because I know the weather, even at that time, uh, can yeah, be. Yeah, it'd be great weather. It should yeah, be. yeah. The so the hardest thing is going to be the elevation gain and and loss. It is, won't, won't it be? H- hiking downhill when you're going downhill, mile yes. after mile after mile. Yeah. It's not easy on no. the body. Hey, hey, Dale, I, I will have to say I did hike. Uh, my wife is a big hiker. Uh, we did hike uh, LeConte over in East Tennessee. And, uh, That's great trail. Get, getting there was no problem. Coming back down was the hardest on my knees. In fact, one of the couples with us, he carried his wife halfway down. So, folks, don't think this is a cake in the in a cakewalk for for the one and only Dale Sanders. Dale, thank you, man. Always okay, great to have you, and we will have you again. Stay in shape, keep that barn coming, and uh, we'll we'll talk to you later on. Okay, buddy. Have a great fourth. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all right, Dale Sanders. All right, we got to get out of here before we do that. We got to let uh, a quick uh, any any comments before I let uh, another pun. No, I'm, no uh, just, you, you know, just, go ahead, Dave. That shows you, you know, you no matter what age, just do it. Isn't that something? Yeah, he's he is inspiring, but he's also perspiring. You know, I mean, uh, yeah. Think about what. All right, Gene, uh, give us a quick one here. Okay, this uh, the man woke. Uh, he was a he was a world famous hokey pokey dancer. <laughs> <laughs> and when he and and when he died, uh, they had trouble getting him in the casket because once you put one leg in, the <laughs> right leg in, the left leg, <laughs> and that's when it started. That's when. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do the hokey pokey in the casket? <laughs> oh, that, that's a hard act to follow after Dale Sanders. Okay. <laughs> We'll be right back, and we'll try to get serious on duck line drawings. Uh, Dave Garrett's going to have to help me here. I'm broken up. We'll be right back.